A number for Wednesday, students. Join me as I learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Joel, and welcome to our class. Romy is a tricycle driver in Barangay Laging Handa. He recorded his earnings in pesos for 15 days and came up with the following data. One of the essential ways of describing a set of data like this is by using the measure of central tendency. For today's session, we will talk about the most commonly used measures of central tendency, which are the mean, median, and mode. Are you ready, students? Come on, and let us begin our number four journey. Before we proceed to the lesson, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home with Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. You may enroll in a standalone program in math. Just check the link in the description box to learn more. As we learn about mean, median, and mode, we will answer these two questions. First, what are the measures of central tendency? Second, what are the things to remember in finding the mean, median, and mode of statistical data? Come on, let's begin our discussion. A measure indicating the middle of a set of data is called a measure of central tendency. The most commonly used measures of central tendency are the mean, median, and mode. Let's discuss them one by one. Let's learn about the mean. The mean for ungrouped data is the sum of the values in the set divided by the number of values added. In symbol notation, the formula for the mean of ungrouped data is this. X sub i for the items or values. i for ranges from 1 to n. n for the number of items. And sigma a Greek letter sign which is used to signify a sum. Now, let's have an example. Consider the number of handicrafts produced. 8,000, 10,500, 11,000, 12,000, 12,500, 45,000. Let's find the mean. 8,000 plus 10,500 plus 11,000 plus 12,000 plus 12,500 plus 45,000 divided by 6. The answer is 16,500. Therefore, the mean of handicrafts produced is 16,500. Because of the very high production of 45,000, the mean of 16,500 is considerably higher than the majority of the values. Therefore, the mean does not represent the data very well. The mean can be affected by extreme values. Very high or very low values. Now, let's learn about the median. The median is the middle value of a set of data when the values are arranged in ascending or descending order. Half of the values are above the median and the other half are below the median. The symbol X tilde denotes the median and it is not affected by extreme values. In finding the median, it is important to remember the following. Number one, the data must be arranged in ascending or descending order. Number two, if there is an odd number of values in the set, the median is the middle value. If there is an even number of values, the median is the mean of the two middle values. Let's have some examples. Consider the following data. Given 1, 5, 12, 17, 9. 
Let's arrange the data from lowest to highest. We have 1, 5, 9, 12, 17. Notice that the number of values is 5, which is an odd number. That means the median is 9. How about this? Consider the following data. Given 8, 3, 15, 2, 12, 6. Let's arrange the data from highest to lowest. We have 15, 12, 8, 6, 3, 2. Notice that the number of values is 6, even. This means that the median is the mean of the two middle values, 8 and 6. Let's solve. The median is 8 plus 6 divided by 2. 8 plus 6 equals 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Therefore, the median in this data is 7. Good job! Let's learn about the mode. The mode is the value that occurs most frequently in a data set. We can classify a set of data according to the number of modes. Number 1. Unimodal, a set of data with one mode. Number 2. Bimodal, a set of data with two modes. Number 3. Multimodal, a set of data with more than one mode. Keep in mind that if no value occurs more than once, the data does not have a mode. Now, let's have an example. Consider the following data. 1, 5, 8, 2, 8, 7. Notice that 8 appears more than once. That's why this is the mode. A set of data with one mode like this is unimodal. Now that we know how to find the mean, median, and mode of a given data set, let's go back to the table earlier and find the mean, median, and mode. Game? Let's go! What is the average earning of Romy per day? The sum of Romy's earnings for 15 days is 5,705 pesos. Now, 5,705 divided by 15 is 380.33. Therefore, his average earning per day is 380 pesos and 33 centavos. What is the median in Romy's record of earnings? Let's arrange the record of Romy's earnings in ascending order. 310, 325, 330, 360, 400, 400, 400, 410, 420, 425.
the middle term is 390. Therefore, the median of Romy's earnings is 390 pesos. What is the mode in Romy's record of earnings? We have 400, 380, 420, 310, 400, 370, 390, 325, 400, 425, 330, 360, 400, 385, and 410. The mode of Romy's earnings is 400 pesos. Since it is the most frequent amount appearing in the data, we have 400, 400, 400, 400. The data is unimodal. You did great, students! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. A measure indicating the middle of a set of data is called a measure of central tendency. The most commonly used measures of central tendency are the mean, median, and mode. The mean for ungrouped data is the sum of the values in the set divided by the number of values added. The mean can be affected by extreme values, very high or very low values. The median is the middle value of a set of data when the values are arranged in ascending or descending order. Half of the values are above the median and the other half are below the median. The symbol X tilde denotes the median and it is not affected by extreme values. The mode is the value that occurs most frequently in a data set. We can classify a set of data according to the number of modes, unimodal, bimodal, and multimodal. You're fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about the mean, median, and mode today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Of course, to experience magical learning at home, check out Vival's Happy Homeschool program. Just click the link in the description to learn more. Again, this is Teacher Jarel and see you on our next number 4 Wednesday.